Well, I've lived here all my life. This is a very, very special place. I've seen this going from basically almost a desert, really heavily grazed by sheep, into what it is now. You've got 27 species of tree. It's alive with wildlife. It's a balance of nature, something I never really realized. You suddenly see different species all seasons, and every season there's more and more butterflies, more moths, more birds, and it really is absolutely amazing to see it going from the start to where it is now. When I was a young lad, this was sold to Fountain Forestry by our Verigi estate. It was very much a, a, a traditional uh, farming and sporting estate. Due to be planted with uh, Sikkis Norway spruce to 2,000 feet, Nature Conservancy Council, the previous name for Nature Scott, came in and said, look, we can do something very special with this. At the, the top of this has got some species like Dotrell, 4% of the British population. It's got this uninterrupted landscape from Lockshore to Mountaintop. Let's do something with it. Let's try and turn it back into a little bit of Scotland that it would have been 600 years ago. And here we are. It's absolutely fantastic to see what's happened. You would get the odd black grouse and everything else. You'd get the odd mountain hare. It was basically red deer that, and very, very large numbers and of very low quality. You've got all these species coming back. You've got every raptor out there. Hen harrier, golden eagle, merlin, peregrine, kestrel, they're all there. And it's just amazing to see how the balance of nature works. But it's a much better landscape for the red deer. And now what's happened is it's quality over quantity. In the winter time, they won't die. They've got the cover. It's actually a fantastic thing. You've got all these things, ring oozel, all these birds that come throughout the seasons, wax wings, field fairs, and they do a great job of spreading the seed from the rowan. It really is fantastic to see. We've made a real push to try and become as sustainable as possible. So what we did is we invested in a, in a micro hydro. It used to be using uh, generators, which a lot of diesel, and it was very expensive and the carbon footprint wasn't good. So we built this micro hydro. We now produce 26 kilowatts. From that, we can charge the vehicles here, the ATVs, and we can charge the road vehicles as well. So it really is a winner. We can travel to ever if we're doing any other work in Inverness or Aviemore. We jump in the vehicle, charge from our own burn, and away we go. The mountain trail goes from the car park right up into the bottom of Corriarder. You go up a nice gentle path, you do a bit of pitching, uh, you're going through the birch and rowan and then Scots pine, then you're getting into the real mountain side of it, and it really is a fantastic sight to be seen. There's a lovely wee lock in there. It's just as stunning. It's basically where the, the, the glacier stopped, and it really is an absolutely fantastic. Right from the level of the lock, it's just sheer cliffs that go right up to the very top. On your left, as you come through the car park, you've got what's called the Alderwood. It's about 950 metres. It's an all abilities path, so everybody can go there. It's really good for kids, wheelchairs. It goes right through this kind of floodplain, which is obviously why the alder is growing there and it really is a beautiful path for families. Now, the Anshian path is as you come into the car park, you go to the right hand side. Again, an all abilities path. You'll see a little mound on the right called Anshian, which actually is the ferry and all, which the old Highlanders used to say was very, very important and they really believed in these sort of things. But you can go up and there's just lovely steps up there, stone steps, and it's an absolutely beautiful view all the way around and you get a great view of the whole reserve. You can see the, the livestock, the black grouse are lecking there. There's loads of wildlife about. It's fantastic. Lots of finches. There's a bird feeding station. It really is an amazing walk. And we've gone our way to make sure that it's family friendly. There's also a mixed abilities path when you leave the car park and it comes off the Alderwood and you head up to the left along the burn of Corriarda. You can see otters on a good day. There's lots of birds, lots of finches there, black grouse and it's a lovely walk. It takes you up to a beautiful viewpoint where you can see Loch Lagan and right round, it's got a 360 degree view. Absolutely stunning. There's a woodland forever. This is going to be an amazing place forever. A little bit of Scotland, almost like no other. And, and that's a fantastic, what, what a legacy to leave, not just for your children, but for everybody's children. Yeah. Really, it gives you an awful lot of joy. And you just never want to leave it.